300 years, they ruled the largest continuous land empire in history. Twice the size of Caesar's Roman Empire. Longer lasting than Napoleon's, as world-shaking as Alexander the Great's. They are the Mongols, the fury that rolls like a storm out of the steppes. In the early 13th century, the Mongols pioneer a style of warfare unparalleled in cunning and cruelty. And so revolutionary, it still inspires military strategists today. Sweeping east and west, destroying everything in their path, they shatter the old world order and carve a new course of history. It is the end of the 12th century. As Europe lies mired in the Dark Ages, two cultures set the standard for human civilization. The Islamic states in Persia and Central Asia, and far away to the east, a trio of fabulous kingdoms in China. Between these stretch vast, inhospitable grasslands, the Eurasian steppes. Although the steppes are formidable, they are not empty. Nomadic tribes, the Tatars, Mongols, and others, eke out a grim life. These are some of the coldest places on Earth in Mongolia. Temperatures 90 degrees below zero. So for much of the year, they're fighting nature. It's a life with no, no margin of safety in it. In 1175, the Tatars renew an old feud with the Mongols. These two tribes, so similar in lifestyle and belief, are bitterly divided by ancient rivalries, a never-ending cycle of alliance, treachery, and revenge. Caught up in their own struggles, they ignore their common enemy, the rich and powerful Jin of northern China. The Jin Dynasty, their policy towards Mongolia was one really of divide and conquer. 